If you have multiple conditions to check, instead of using a nested if formula, you can now use the new formula called ifs. Now, this is a new formula in Excel 2019. And what it does is it checks multiple conditions and returns the value of the first true condition. So this is a much simpler way to create multiple conditions using the ifs formula. Now, in previous versions, you'd have to nest. So what that means is when you create a new formula, say you put if cell A1 is bigger than 10,000, then return this. Then the second argument, you'll open the bracket and type in the if formula once again. So it'll be another if formula. So you're nesting the if formula within another one. And then you create a second condition there. And if you had a third and fourth, you go all the way there. So that makes it very, very ugly when you're creating a formula that way. And it can get confusing as well. But the ifs formula changes all that. It's much neater and much simpler way to create. So let's do this. We have here our income and our tax rate. So you have the tax brackets. And we have our income in here, so which is 10,000. And we want to know based on our income, what tax rate are we going to have to pay? So in here, let's put in our ifs formula. So first is the first logical test. So we're saying if this cell here is less than 8456, then return 30%. Now we can reference that, but let's just type it in for now so it can look much neater. So 8456, then what do we want? 13%. Once again, I can click in here, but for to show it in a much neater way, let's put in 13%. That's our first argument. The second one is, if our income is less than 15.874, then we have to pay 18%. So 1.8, there you go. And our final argument is, if our income is bigger than or equal to 15.874, then we have to pay a tax rate of 22%. And let's close the bracket. Now let's have a look at this. So say our income is less than 8.456, say it's 8,000, we have to pay 13%. Say that it's 9,000, we have to pay 18%. Perfect. Say if it's 15,880, we've got to pay 22%. So there you go, it's working fine. And once again, we can have a look here at our formula and it looks much neater. So you can have a look there at each of the three arguments and what they're gonna return. Very, very easy to understand. If you had to use the old if function and nest an if, you, you will have to put in an if in here and then another if there. And then another if there. So it just becomes very, very ugly. And this is very nice. So just another tip as well, if you wanna make it even easier, you can actually click on there and press Alt and Enter. So you can um, separate and that way, it just looks much better. So you, you get to see at which tax brackets you need to pay. So press Enter. We can go back in here and there's another quick tip for you. So I hope you enjoy this fabulous new IFS formula, which was introduced in Excel 2019.